There is some serious interest for a seat on the South Range School Board. Ten people running for three seats. And earlier tonight, all those candidates were in the same auditorium to let the public know where they stand. Here's 27 First News reporter Corey Frumkin. It was a packed house at the South Range High School Auditorium Tuesday night. Ten candidates made their case for three open seats on the Board of Education. Some of the candidates talked financial issues regarding the school district. Superintendent Dunham says everything is fine. Our fourth, and our fourth year in our financial forecast appears to be black instead of red. So I, I do believe that our waters are starting to calm in terms of the financial impact that not just South Range, but all schools have uh, endured. The May levy failed. The levy would have prevented the district from facing a nearly half million dollar deficit by 2017. We, like all other schools, have to be very prudent in our, our uh, cost saving measures in terms of employees and purchase services. This past November, the board had to cut an elementary school program. I talked with a few parents of students at South Range who say they're focused on the well being and education of their children. I would like to see um, all decisions to be made around the kids. Um, I want a well-rounded education for all three of my children. Um, I have one in elementary and middle and high school, so I see it from all different sides. I'd obviously like to see change because my children go to school here. Um, we love the community and love the school, and no one wants to see that division. Superintendent Dunham says money coming into the schools is a statewide problem. There's reduced funding uh, across the state in terms of, of school districts. Uh, I don't want to say at this point that we are having financial difficulties because, uh, as I mentioned, we, uh, we are in the black for the next four years. In Beaver Township, Corey Frumkin, WKBN 27 First News.